I have no idea, but that's what it looks like. $20 at an estate sale into $1,100. Incredible. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, this is Share Your Best September Bolo. And these were posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my group. If you're not there, definitely go join. Anyone can share in this uh, on this post. And if you are not a member, it will be anonymous. If you are a member, you will get a shout out to either your YouTube channel or your eBay store. Um, one thing, if you are a member, here's what I need you to do. I need you to hashtag it Bolo Buddies member, and I need you to put either your YouTube channel name or your eBay store name because there's getting to be so many members that are posting, and I don't want to miss someone. And we are going to get started here with some big money Bolo items that sold in September 2022. Uh, most of these are eBay. Uh, there may be a Poshmark or Mercari thrown in there. You are welcome to share from any platform. Okay, so the first one, I bought this at the Goodwill for $5, took about six months to sell for a best offer of $350, and it even has a damaged frame. It says, Terrence Osborne, uh, Sari Damardi, Bark signed poster, damaged frame, sold for $350. Oh, it's a poster. This one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. This is his eBay store. And he bought this for $2 at an estate sale. It says a lot of precious moments are not worth much, but the ones that have the Easter seal on the bottom sell for much more or much better. Sold for $150. This is what it looks like. And he also included a photo of the bottom. So there you have it. Uh, so far it's been this Tory Burch dress, new with tags, found at the Goodwill bins for $1.25 and sold for $185. I think it was listed for about two to three weeks. And here is a photo of that. And that was Poshmark sale. I got this movie at a garage sale about three weeks ago, listed it and sold it for 30, took an offer, uh, priced high at $49.99, took your advice. I paid up for it at a dollar. I don't pay no more than 50 cents typically for VHS. So this is a Jurassic Park VHS movie. So this is more of a bread and butter, but a lot of times these are easy to find and a dollar into 30 is fantastic. This is what it looked like. Some vintage VHS that are sealed can go for crazy big money. Um, most of them are still bread and butter. I'm still looking for my grail. All right. I bought this lovey for $1.50. It is a mud pie elephant lovey, pink minky green striped trim, satin security blanket. Sold it for $34.99. This is another item that can be bread and butter mostly, but some can go for big money. The Rebel reseller just did a video mm, kind of recently on loveys to be on the lookout for. This is the video. Go check it out. This latch hook kit was $3 and sold for $39. It is a vintage Molina hook rug kit, mushroom style, factory sealed, uh, $39.99. Best one I have had all year. Paid $20 at an estate sale, sold for $1,100 plus shipping. It is a Firelight MS 5UD3 conventional vibe zone panel. I have no idea, but that's what it looks like dollars at an estate sale into 1100 Incredible. I picked these up at Walmart on clearance for $4 plus tax. Listed them the next day and they sold in less than six hours for 98 free shipping. So I think this is a retail arbitrage, right? Sold a little cheap because one of the boxes was damaged. Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System Facial Puff Refill. That's what it looks like. I bought this toaster at a thrift shop for $5.95. It sold on auction for $96 plus shipping. Did what you said and started it at price I was wanting. Flipped in a week is Vintage Sunbeam Radiant Control Auto Drop Toaster. This is what it looks like. Um, so what I say is if you have an item and there's not a lot on eBay or there's none on eBay, 
start the auction high. Don't start the auction at a dollar. Start it at what you hope to get for the item, and then you can always relist it and um, do a buy it now. But this is at least going to make sure that you don't sell your item too low. I trash picked, AKA curbside shopped, this beautiful peacock chair, identical to the one used by Mortika Adams, Mortika, Morticia, Morticia, <laughs> oh, on the Adams family. I, I've never watched the Adams family. Eek. Mine was painted white and had a couple small wicker pieces missing, which hurt the value. I listed on Facebook Marketplace and eBay, offering pickup or shipping on both sites. I had it listed for $475.99 and received an offer on eBay five days after listing for $300 with the promise of same day pickup. It was taking up so much room, I accepted that offer. Sold for $300. Good feedback immediately received. This is what it looks like. These seem to be trending right now. I keep seeing these peacock chairs. Paid $5 each at a yard sale. It is a Sevlor, Sevlor, Sevlor water sports ski biscuit inflatable uh, tube. It's a tube sold for 140 bucks. Uh, $3 into $75 sold in a few days. It is a light up fluffy cocker spaniel dog Christmas decoration outdoor. This is what it looks like. Paid $3 at a thrift store. Sold in for $60 in under 24 hours. It is a Jan Van Hosteren Jumbo 150 Years Puzzle. Factory sealed. Found this at a garage sale for $2. It didn't have a key with it, so I purchased the key through eBay. I think I paid $5 for the key, and it sold quickly. I think within a week of listing. I also had a video showing how it worked. It's a wooden miniature German Swiss bouncing swing girl this is what it looks like another bus trip found this gym at goodwill 50 cents sold five months later for 54.99 couldn't find the particular this particular so priced a bit higher um it's a rare 34th street pine holiday pink gold reindeer plush shelf sitter sparkly and furry look at that there you go Bought this teapot at the Salvation Army store for $4.50. Sold for full asking price of $39.99. It is a vintage teapot. Taisho, T-A-I-S-H-O, period, Japanese conch. Uh, so it's like a, looks like a conch shell. I don't know if it's actually a shell or not. M uh, Majolica, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Small, original handle. This one comes from Terry, Mindful Recycle. She is a moderator of this Facebook group and she is a big money bolo finder. Go sub her up on YouTube. That is her channel, Mindful Recycle. Purchased at an estate sale, sold in about a month for 24, I'm sorry, sold in about a month. Paid 20 door, <laughs> let's start over. Purchased at an estate sale, sold in about a month, paid 24.50, sold for $399.99. And buyer paid shipping. It is this uh, 21 Club Department 56 Christmas in the city. Purchased at an estate sale. Sold in two days. Paid 15 and sold for $149.97. Buyer paid shipping. It is an old world Christmas Santa hugging the light illuminated figure. This one comes from Terry Mindful Recycle also. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. Go and sub her up. Paid $2 each at a thrift store. Sold in about six months for best offer of $35 plus $13.70 shipping. Lot of three vintage Coca-Cola metal wall signs. Antique rep uh, repos. Uh, vintage calendar girl. Hi, Courtney. I sold this Squishmallows Tally the Tabby Cat for $75 plus shipping on Mercari. I had it listed for a couple months. I found it at the Goodwill bins. It cost me about 60 cents because of the weight. 75 was my full asking price. I have kind of wondered if Squishmallows were losing steam, but yay, they are still selling. This is what it looks like. Um, so Squishmallows, some are big money, most are bread and butter, but definitely look them up. Got this adorable Squishmallow Marina cow at Savers for $2.99 plus 20% off coupon. Paid $2.39. Sold in less than 24 hours for an offer of $220 on Mercari. I listed competitive for a quick sale. Saw one had sold previously sold on eBay for $323. I received an offer on eBay for $150 and about an hour or so later received the $220 offer on Mercari 
which I decided to accept. I pick up all Squishmallows and this one was a goodie. All right, this one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Here is her YouTube channel. She is a big money bolo finder and a moderator of the group as well. Definitely go and check her out. She purchased this at an online YouTube sale for $100, so she did pay up for it because she knew it was going to be a bolo. I listed it sky high and took an amazing offer. Keep your eyes open for Iris A-P-F-E-L. And if you follow Noelle over on um, Instagram, she does posts like this, and they are fantastic. It gives you lots of information, and you learn about bolos in a different format than YouTube. So check her out on both places, Instagram and YouTube. This is what it looked like, and it is fantastic. She took a best offer of $280 on that. All right, this one is also from Noelle. It says, keep your eyes open for vintage toothbrushes. This is another thing that I like about Farm Girl Scravenger is she picks up things that I would pick up, weird things, unexpected things, and things that other people are like, no way you sold that. They actually sell very well, and I have sold some, uh, so many for... Oh, sold for over a hundred some over the years for over a hundred this one right here is a vintage 1980s avon toothbrush um wow 29.99 plus shipping so the buyer was all in for 32.69 and her cost of goods was free on that she's got a few more here but i'm gonna send you over to instagram to check those out Hi, Courtney. I was lucky to find a mixed lot of these vintage Crabtree and Evelyn products in a thrift store for a dollar each. This one sold fast and I have another just like it to sell. Um, wow. It's a bath and shower gel and she sold it for a hundred dollars. And, uh, she has been following my channel, I think pretty much since the very beginning. So thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Um, picked up these glasses at a yard sale after Google lensing them and seeing they were listed high on Etsy. Listed them on eBay really high and sold them in two weeks for a best offer of $395. Very rare set from Libby. Paid five for the set. And they have cats on them. And this type of thing seems to be really trending right now. Those are fantastic. Um, if you don't know how to use Google Lens, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. Looks like this that will show you how to use Google Lens. Um definitely use that before posting in the Facebook group. Um, what is this item? Because you're going to find that you'll find your item on Google Lens often. So uh, use that before you post, please. Apparently this lovey by Gund is a bolo. Picked it up with tags at a yard sale for $2. Sold in a week for a best offer of $70. It is Rocco. Rock, yeah, Rocco. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> it looks like this. The Fox Huggy Buddy Plush Lovey Satin Trim. Paid $4 for this at a garage sale. Sold on Mercari for $44 plus shipping. Yankee Candle Accessories and Tart Warmers can be bolos. And this is what it looks like. Paid $5 at the Goodwill and sold in three days for full asking global ship. Um, it is an unopened Sony Walkman. And it sold for $159.99 plus shipping. Walkmans, vintage Walkmans, definitely be on the lookout. Definitely look them up if you see them. Bolo from the weekend picked at an estate sale with my girl, Betsy Hoff. We found lots of great items at the sale. I saw these for $5 and didn't know what they were, but went with my cool factor gut and found out they are small vending machine cards used to display what we can get probably 80s 90s sold in 24 hours for $89.99 plus shipping so those are really cool one of my bolos from the weekend loved this show as a kid picked it up for a dollar at a yard sale and didn't even look it up until I unpacked the car I was planning to keep I sold it for full asking price of $230 in less than five days. It is Monsters, the complete series, three season DVD set. So awesome. Right there. Look for those. That's an incredible. I mean, we know some VHS are going for crazy money, but this is a DVD set. So very, very cool. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to everyone that shared. If you would like to share a bolo and have your bolo featured in this video, you can head over to my Facebook group, looks like this, and look for the bolo post. And leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments and let me know what your favorite bolo was in this video. Thanks for watching.
purchased at an estate sale. Uh -huh. 